Hey guys, how y'all doing? Tyler Austin with MyGeekCentral.com. I'm remaking uh, the header tutorial right now because I realized in the other videos it wasn't showing any content over here. So, we're going to do this for the third time now, so which means we're going to have three different uh, um, borders. But and I'll just show you the other two that I made just so you can have an idea of you know the different things you can do. So, alright, so the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to go into your... Um, my website folder or whatever folder you're going to be um, pulling this from create an images folder and that's where we're going to be sticking our images into to pull them out of cool alright next thing you're going to need is Photoshop you can download download that from the Adobe Adobe download page and I can put a link uh, reference in the bottom of the page um, so new gonna be 960 by 150 pixels um, and you can make it, you know, if you just want to go, instead of going and saying uh, from left to right, saying my first website, and you want to just put um, from top to bottom, my, and then first, and then website, and just create kind of like a square logo in the top left corner, you can do that too. You just have to change your width, and then, um, you know, it, it to, to each their own, and you can make it however you want. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and just make a 960 by 150. Alright, so now that we got our background border, the first thing you're going to want to do is you got your layers down here. You're going to want to change the um, opacity of the background. Unless you want to have white in the background or you want to make this whole background blue or black or something and then put text over it. I personally like it to be only the, the text that I put over top, just like my web page here. You know, I, I like only the text back there um, instead of having like a blue border behind it or a black border behind it, you know. So, um, okay, now that we've done that, we're going to create a text block. Make it a little bigger. And we're going to type in my first website.com okay cool then we're gonna make another one down here and we're gonna put boy that's a cool website Okay, and then for example, like uh, there's a bunch of other things you can do with these. Like, I don't know. Here, I'll show you with this. We'll go. We'll we'll go into the other uh, one here, and we'll take this dot com. We'll go over here to the fonts and stuff, and we can make this like bigger or smaller. And then we could like put it down below it, or you put it above it. Or we could put a line through it, which is kind of cool. I think I'm going to do that. I'm gonna, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm going to do that. Alright, and then we can make hold. Sweet. I like that. It's kind of cool. Alright, so I just accidentally made a layer. Delete that. So now I'm going to add some color to these. Go ahead, and we're going to. You can use these stock. Uh, they got stock style sheets over here you can use. Um, or you can. You know, do it this way, and you can. Dang it! Get out of your layer. Okay. Ah. There we go. Or you can do it this way, and you can go over here, back to that font button, and you can change the color this way, and we'll make it. Um, let's make it like a dark green. Okay. And then we'll close this. We'll make, so you can make the background layer a different color as well if you want. So, I don't know. We got that up. We're not going to have to worry about that because we got it invisible anyway. So, let's go ahead and change this other text. 
And I'm going to do something different with that one. I'm going to go over to the stock style sheets and I'm going to turn this. Um, so you can see that it just changes them around a bit. You know, it automatically puts effects on them. And you can also change those effects by if you. Uh, this FX button down here, you can change it by, you know, adding drop, inner shadows, outer glows, all this other stuff. And basically, all these are is they're automatically set in those styles for you. So I'm going to make this one, this one right here. Cool. All right. So that's our header. Um, now all we got to do is save it. Save as. We're going to save it as a PNG file. And this is going to be header number two. Because I got header, header one, and header number two. So save. OK. Close everything out. No. Bring down this page here. And now you can see, bam. I think that's pretty cool. So we'll close it out. And then now in the next tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to actually put that on your website. Okay. So look for the next tutorial. I think it's probably going to be called something like how to build a header lesson number two or something. So, um, Cool. If you haven't checked out the other videos before this, check them out. How to build a website from scratch. Uh, this is a series. I think it's a total of uh, eight or nine uh, lessons. Um, so, this is Tyler Austin from MyGeekCentral.com.